Happy summer, guys. It's June 20th, 2024. I have good news of bad news. I have bad news, good news. Bad news, really. So good news, there's an update. Bad news, it's what the news is. Today is part two. I have an update on what's going on at the Massachusetts RMV. Um, we have figured out what they're actually trying to ban for our beloved Japanese import cars, whatever. It's not necessarily short van, and it's not necessarily any particular K other than K trucks and vans. So what's really awesome right now is Mercedes Streeter. She is a journalist at theautopian.com. Autopian. Theautopian.com. Yeah, that's a weird word to say. Uh, but yeah, so she wrote an article, Massachusetts is banning cars from Japan without telling enthusiasts why. I will leave a link in the description below so you can take a look at it. Um, what's really awesome here is we got in contact with her. She started digging into it. She spent hours and hours playing phone, phone hell through the RMV hold music and whatnot. And she eventually got tossed around to different departments, different places, and she got to the bottom of it kind of to at least get more information than what everyone else has been getting because they just get shooed away at the RMV when they get denied. In the original video, I only provided you what I knew, which is what they told me. Short VIN, Japanese import, no, no. So it's not all short VINs. So European short VINs, American short VINs, I don't know what other country makes stuff, but African short VINs, Australian short VINs, whatever. All of that stuff is cool. But Japanese short VIN, nah, nah, we, they don't want to do that here. We don't do that here. She got a hold of somebody at the RMV that actually is involved in this current situation of getting these vehicles banned. Uh, or, or not allowed to be registered in Massachusetts, at least. Uh, not necessarily banned, I guess, but, but yeah, that's essentially banned. The list she got provided includes these vehicles, the Honda Acti, the truck and the van, the Suzuki Carry, which is a truck, and then the Suzuki Every, which is the van, the Mitsubishi Mini Cab, the truck and the van, the AutoZam Mazda Scrum, truck and van, the Subaru Sambar, truck and van, the Suzu Mini Truck. There isn't an Isuzu Mini Truck as far as we know, unless they mean the Elf, because an Elf is Mini Elf. Well, I guess Will Ferrell's elf is this tall. Okay. <laughs> Nissan Clipper. I don't even know what the Clipper is. And then the Toyota Light Ace and the Town Ace. So those are also vans too. So, uh, I think the Town Ace is a van and the Light Ace is a truck. And the Daihatsu Hijet and the Atri. So the Atri is the van, the Hijet is the truck. As you heard in the list, some of those vehicles are not even Ks. So they're after K trucks. They don't even know what Ks are or they don't know which particular ones are, which is probably why they're going after short VIN because that's easy to do because all of them have short VINs and they're assuming that they're all short VIN, which they are correct, but non-Ks are also short VIN. As usual, whoever started this off at the RMV got nudged by the AAMVA, American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators. Yes, so that group has been basically behind every one of these JDM, K-Bands, whatever, all this stuff. So they're after more than just the Ks, but it seems like that's why they're pushing first. But I think their end goal is to ban any of these foreign imports from coming in just because they're older than 25 and being able to be registered on the road legally. As for myself, I've been reaching out to state legislators, uh, my state reps and whatever. Uh, there's a big list. There's 200 of them in Massachusetts. Some of them are in the transportation community and... Um, Maybe they're the helpful ones to target first because they can probably like bring up some bill on this stuff. And hey, if, if they're on our side, they can be like, hey, leave these things alone. These are going to be codified to be legal, blah, 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 blah. If you live in Massachusetts, please help and reach out to your state reps, state senator, whatever. Get them on board with this thing. Remember, be nice. It had nothing to do with them because they're our elected official where they're going to do stuff. I mean, yeah, people talk about this all the time and, and it sounds hopeless, but this is just how it works. So that's what we're going to do. Whoever's doing this stuff, the people you should be mad at are some unelected bureaucrat that works at the RMV that has too much power to, to attempt to do shenanigans because they have nothing better to do. I reached out to my rep. They called me back the same day. And they said they're looking into it, and I haven't heard back because yesterday was Juneteenth and everybody was closed. So I didn't hear back today, so maybe tomorrow. The guy I spoke with did say it might be like one or two days just because they're trying to sort everything out. And it seems like Mercedes from the Autopian got all this info from today too. And at the RMV, they were having a meeting, and in the meeting, they're going to discuss to finalize whatever the heck they're doing right now. Um, I don't know. Hopefully the person she spoke with is kind of like aware and against this. So she's going to put some input on that. I don't know. 
we can only find out at this point. At least for now, based off the article, if you haven't read it, it seems like uh, the existing registrations are safe. Um, they're deciding if they want to revoke the, the ones that slipped by. Um, they're also trying to figure out like what they're going to do with all the prior things, like all the stuff people have registered for God knows how long. What I want to find out from this right now, even under their current rules, is do they care if it's an existing titled vehicle or do they only care if it's on import papers to get new titles? Like, what are they actually after? Are they going to, like, deny people with an actual title right now that comes not necessarily, not necessarily from Massachusetts, but, like, I don't know, some other state that has them legal. So, I don't know, North Carolina, Virginia, whatever. If you have a Virginia title, is that valid to register one of these banned vehicles that they have on their list? I don't know. If one of you guys are doing that anytime soon, please let me know in the comments below if, um, if you're either transferring ownership of one of these vehicles uh, whether it's uh, by import paper or by title, Massachusetts or out of state or whatever you got. I want to know. Like, I'm just curious what they're doing. Like, I want to figure out what's going on. Um, oh, man, there's so much to think of. I don't even know what's going on now. So uh, do existing transfers work? I mean, obviously, it still seems like it depends on the clerk that you get. In Within the group I started, um, people are reporting that some got their vehicles through and it was okay and some got denied we have a few more people posting that they got denied and a couple people posted the uh the rejection letter it's also about how it's not registered with the nhtsa to be uh imported or driven on the roads or something like that so at least that part is consistent so i think that's all the update we have right now i mean we're only like two days deep into this thing and uh yeah it's gonna be a i feel like it's gonna be a long road i hope it's gonna be a short and quick road but, you know, if it takes a while, it takes a while. What can we do about it if we're afraid, if we already have these vehicles? Nothing, really. So if you're super paranoid, you would probably want to transfer your vehicle out of state somewhere else just so they don't ruin your title, whatever they're going to do with it. Um, we don't know yet. I don't exactly know how it went down in Georgia, but it seems like in Georgia, the state bricked everybody's car because basically they like branded your title off road or they don't even give you back your papers and they revoke stuff. I don't know. I remember reading something about this. I'm not hundred percent sure, but see that that's like the worst case scenario. But um, if you just, if you're, like I said, if you're paranoid that Massachusetts is going to go that far, then you would want to probably, I don't know, look into Montana LLCs or something and, and, just move everything over. Unfortunately, in that month, setting up a Montana LLC is not cheap. So it kind of sucks if you have to do it like for one. And I don't know, I have a bunch of them. Is it worthwhile? I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I kind of just chilling just to see. So um, I'll update you guys again when I get to know more, if I find out more myself, or if somebody posts some important stuff that we got to make a video of so you guys can watch, if, especially if you don't want to read things, you know. Uh, so uh, I don't like to read things, but you know, I'm forced to read things. It is what it is. It's part of my work and, and my interests. <laughs> so subscribe for more updates on this and even just whatever I'm working on. I am currently working on my Suzuki car right here. It is still butt naked, but it's getting along somewhere. So hopefully it'll be fixed and it'll be done soon. I'll see you guys next time. Leave a comment below if you have any information or if you just want to talk about whatever's going on. I'll chat with you. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Share this with everybody. Blow it up. Kind of just let everybody know. And, and uh, if you're in Massachusetts, reach out to the reps and stuff. I have a good template. I think I'm going to update the template a little bit just to include the blurb. Not the blurb. The article from um, The Autopian by Mercedes. So thank you again, Mercedes, if you're watching this. Because sitting through phone hell, oh, I totally understand. I'm so happy somebody did it and actually got something out of it. So I guess your efforts were definitely worth it.